Welcome to my talk on parameterized temperature scaling for boosting the expressive power in post hoc uncertainty calibration. Neural network based systems are increasingly used for decision making in real world applications due to their high predictive power. Models deployed in such real world settings require not only high accuracy but also reliability and uncertainty awareness. Especially in safety critical applications such as autonomous driving or medical settings, a reliable estimate of the predictive uncertainty of models is crucial, meaning that a model's confidence should match accuracy. A well-known family of post hoc calibration methods are based on the idea of temperature scaling. These approaches are particularly appealing since they do not affect the accuracy of the transformed model and have a high data efficiency. However, they are collectively limited by a low model capacity. That is, basic temperature scaling TS fits a single scalar parameter and extended temperature scaling ETS is based on a, on a weighted ensemble of three fixed temperatures. Our method, on the other hand, yields drastically lower calibration error while still preserving accuracy and maintaining data efficiency. Now I would like to show you how the proposed method works. We call our approach parameterized temperature scaling or simply PTS. PTS calculates prediction specific temperatures as well as overcomes limitations in the expressive power of TS based methods by leveraging the information present in a logit tuple to compute a prediction specific temperature. More formally, we propose the post hoc calibrator to map unnormalized logits Z to calibrated confidence scores by parameterizing the temperature T with a flexible neural network seen in the second equation. Let's have a closer look at our experiment. With data efficiency and the ability to preserve the trained model's accuracy being our key desiderator of post hoc calibration methods, we mainly focus on accuracy preserving baselines and temperature scaling based methods. Across three datasets and nine architectures, we see that using our approach substantially outperforms calibration performance compared to other state of the art methods. Furthermore, we test for data efficiency of PTS by fitting our model on increasingly smaller subsets of the validation set to calibrate a MobileNet v2 architecture trained on ImageNet and a LeanNet 5 architecture trained on CIFAR 100. When evaluating ECE on the test set, we found that like vanilla TS and ETS, our model yielded state-of-the-art performance even when trained on a small fraction of the validation set. In summary, we show that the limiting factor of TS-based post hoc calibrators is the expressive power of the underlying calibration model and that in fact PTS consisting of a neural network achieves better calibration performance while still maintaining state-of-the-art data efficiency. Thank you very much for taking the time and for listening to my presentation. And if you want, take a look into our paper.